Welcome to another decluttering, organizing video. Honestly, I think these are becoming my favorite types of videos because it gets me to actually get something done. We are going to declutter my life. Basically, the mindset I'm going into this with is decluttering and organizing my life so that I can move out of my parents' house. You might be asking yourself, Bella, is there something you want to tell us? Like, are you moving? No, I'm literally not. Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow with like an offer for my dream job and be able to move out of my parents' house to a city that I love and live by myself and afford it. I just like to be prepared for that eventuality, let's call it. Everyone knows that the best part of organizing your room is picking what you're gonna watch. Maybe we'll do a little bit of Netflix? I don't know, we might go crazy. Let me know what you guys are watching because I need a new show to watch. Although, to be honest with you, I am re-watching Supernatural for like the fourth time. Don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry about it. Mom and I got these when I started college and they're genuinely so nice so they look like this they're like flat and they have little wheels on the bottom so you can store them under your bed easily and they're so nice like if you are in school or moving into an apartment or something you should get these because they are such a great storage solution honestly like this is stuff like do i need it but i also don't want to throw it out it's like a set of curtains and an extra set of shams and a bunch of phone chargers like <laughs> this is the stuff that gets me it's like sometimes i do want these things they're not like non-useful you know i don't know I had a box full of different extra cords and stuff. I decided to put them in this little cable organizer that I had. I originally got this to organize my different SD cards and stuff for when I was traveling, but honestly, it's just not designed for that, so I never really used it. It's just too big, it's mostly for holding cords, not like adapters and um, hard drives and stuff like that. So I just did this for now. I had a bunch of different phone charging cords, um, HDMI, um, podcast mic cords, extra stuff that I have found myself reaching for a couple times. So I'm kind of glad that I have this. And then these are some things I'm not sure I'm going to keep. I have this little ring light thing. I think I'm going to put that in the giveaway. And then I do really like this alarm clock, but honestly, I haven't used it since I got the hatch because it has a clock on it. Probably going to put this in the giveaway as well. This is something I think I'm going to keep. I know it's random and not very essential, but I had this for a while. I got it for my dorm room, but I never ended up using it. But I think it'd be some really nice extra lighting in a like apartment if it doesn't have any overhead lighting. You can just plug it in and then like use a hook and just hang it from the ceiling or a wall or inside a closet or something. So I feel like I can see myself using that. And then also this, these are my fairy lights from my college apartment. I have them spooled up on this. So I think I'm gonna keep this. Okay, I can definitely fit a lot more stuff in this one if I need to. Here are a bunch of random things underneath here that don't really have a place. Like, I love this lamp so much. It's new. But since I moved it from my bedside table, I haven't had a spot to keep it in. I'm definitely keeping this because I love it. It's kind of hard to store it without getting it dusty. Um, and then this under here is... A mirror that I'm also definitely keeping I think it was my great-grandmother's but I've always loved it it's really pretty I used to have it in my dorm room um, it's a little gold oval mirror and I have it in this protective case thing so obviously keeping that but I think I'll put it on top of this because it honestly fits really well in one of these flat containers 
Oh my gosh, you guys, there's wrapping paper from Christmas. <laughs> I think we can get rid of that for sure. All right, we had two full of these containers, and now we just have this one and this empty one with a dead mosquito in it. So I call that a win. <laughs> Obviously, I can fit more stuff in here. I'm just going to see what else is underneath the bed, and then I'm going to try and put the mirror on top of it. I cannot fit that round lamp in one of these. It's just not uh deep enough not sure what we're gonna do with that but let's see what else is underneath the bed I moved over to this side of the bed because the rest of the stuff i have stored over here is just easier to grab from this side and i think this is mostly going to be reorganizing it into the container that we just emptied out i've never shown you guys this stuff before but i kind of want to and it's just really special to me it's kind of silly i feel like you guys will get it okay it's not practical but you guys will get it this is actually things that I've been purchasing or collecting for when I move out. Obviously, it's not super practical because I will have to take these things with me or ship them or whatever. So I completely understand if you're like, why would you do that? That does not make sense. I totally get it. It's given me something to look forward to. And also by collecting things little by little, obviously I'm not saving money, but it makes it more manageable in terms of cash flow. Just not having to know i'm gonna have to buy a ton of household items all at once let me show you and i'll reorganize them into this box which i think can fit everything i have this cutting board this is a paris hilton cutting board okay with a little heart cut out of it like it's like a dream of mine to make a charcuterie board on this i have this set of silverware which is actually goldware obviously when i'm actually like getting to move obviously i would want to get packing materials like bubble wrap and stuff and actually take these out of the packages because they are clearly a lot more bulky like this but i don't have those packing materials right now so i'm just gonna keep them in the packages if you guys don't know alice in wonderland is one of my favorite things ever i have this little tea set that i got for christmas so i'm gonna put that in there i have a new swell water bottle pink of course i have a big old thing of baking soda for cleaning and laundry that arm and hammer sent me a while ago which is very nice so i will not need to buy baking soda maybe ever at this point I have this set they're so beautiful i have a set of two one of my dreams is to have a shelf with all my different like glassware on it it's the little things i have this Paris Hilton kitchen knife, gold with a pink sparkly handle, and it's amazing. I have a set of four of these glasses. This is what they look like. I have this set of wine glasses from our place. Look how pretty these are. I love them. I have this cookbook that my grandma gave me for my birthday. It's the Magnolia bakery cookbook which is a very famous bakery in new york city yeah i'm gonna have to actually go through and like make these fit together because i'm not doing a good job right now a little random collection these are some plates that i thrifted they're little heart dessert plates some more baking soda i have a little wool ball for the dryer obviously i love glassware because my collection is honestly so funny but it makes me so happy like this has been what i've been getting for christmas and my birthday for a couple years so i have this set of pink stemless champagne flutes and then i have these little colored stemless glasses i have four different colors a pink a purple kind of like orangey color and a green one these are so gorgeous like can you imagine like all these different colored like glasses like i don't know just on like a shelf or displayed in a kitchen somehow like, why does that make me so happy? Newest addition to my collection. It's a tea set. Knowing me, these are espresso cups. We will be using them for espresso. I grew up with a very big Italian family, and every time we'd have like a Christmas dinner or something, my aunt would bring out her collection of little espresso cups, and they were all mismatched and looked like that. And then all the adults would drink espresso after dinner. That's my impression of like an adult thing and I want to be that.
welcome back to another day of the decluttering my life video it is pouring rain outside there's like a nor'easter storm happening i was like oh i'm gonna get ready this morning i'm gonna put on a cute outfit for this video no i'm not wearing any makeup and 85 percent of my nails are missing and you know what i was like i don't care we're just gonna do it so you guys don't mind you you don't mind i know you guys so anyway I made myself a little matcha to try and give myself a little treat to get going here i have like no motivation because i just filed my taxes this morning and that was a very excuse my pun a very taxing experience and i'm feeling kind of drained so to get us to that productive spirit i thought a little matcha might do the trick today i want to do this bad boy right here this is my random drawer this is literally my junk drawer honestly i'm not exactly sure what's in it so i thought we would go through that today i literally think that the road outside my window is flooding right now i hope everyone is okay we're definitely staying inside for the rest of the day look how satisfying this is it's literally just these two containers Honestly, I kind of want to line them up so they look better, but I can't get over it. Also, I randomly put the calendar up here because I decided this morning that I hated it and I ripped it off my wall. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe I'll want to put it back later. But anyway, that is gorgeous. Like, look how much space. Also, these are all of my essential oils. I'm giving away my diffuser, so I don't really need these anymore. But I think I'm just going to keep a couple of my favorites because this might be kind of niche, but I like to smell them when I'm on a plane and it helps me not be motion sick. I, it's probably just in my head, but I swear it does help a little bit. This is to illustrate how random this stuff is. So honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to organize this, but this is the first two drawers that we have. So I have my collection of phone cases. I literally like, I'm the luckiest girl ever. Like Casetify is one of my favorite companies ever. Like I just love them so much. And I have worked with them a couple times. So these are all my phone cases. These are actually for my old phone. So they don't fit on mine anymore. So I'm going to give these away or find someone I know that has this um phone size so that they can enjoy them so we're gonna put these over here and then like this is my sewing kit so like that's an example this is my pile of paper products you guys can obviously tell this about me but i'm very sentimental so i like to keep little bits and bobs and like mostly paper goods and i have a special box that i keep all my memory stuff in so i'm gonna put these in there this is from i think this is from either florida or the um experience in london that i went to if you guys don't know i love harry potter so much this is a little pamphlet that my grandma gave me from when she went to london when she was my age um and then i have some tickets some plane tickets and stuff so we're gonna put those in our special little box and then i need to put these in my purses these are some of my no shinku hand sanitizers i love these so much they are refillable and super great and then these are all of my hard drives that i have to use to make my videos so if you guys don't know this is what people who make videos have to do like i know a lot of you guys are also creators so you totally get it but this one has all my iphone pictures in it this one has all of my youtube videos from 2022 and 2023 this is all my sd cards which is a lot of them and honestly i need to buy some more these are all my sd cards one mine is the one i'm using right now and then this is my current hard drive that i edit my videos on and then this is my sd card adapter so yeah i'm not sure how we're gonna do this but let's do the rest of the drawers
think it's so funny to go through my stuff because I have so many random cords just from like collecting things over the years and this like made me laugh so much something i had to buy it's a little lavalier microphone for a class i had to do at school and you had to take it to pass the journalism program which i thought i mean it was like good it was kind of funny and i used them two times just to pass that class yeah i'm gonna ask my dad to help me organize this because i literally don't know what most of these do and i don't want to throw out something important but i also don't want to keep all the stuff so I'm going to ask for his guidance because I do not know what those are. We did it and the top three drawers are essentially empty which is way better than I even thought we'd do so on the very bottom I have my art stuff so I have paint um, beads and then my clay stuff and this one I have my stationery so extra like notebooks and stuff a planner and my phone cases and then in here these are all of my things I used to edit so all my hard drives and my camera that is broken and all my extra SD cards and then in here we just have some extra wires and two little essential oils that I wanted, oops, that I wanted to keep and then I just have a folder of some documents I didn't want to throw out in here and then this one is empty so honestly I think we did a great job. I did not intend for this video to take three days but here we are i just heard a creepy noise and i'm home by myself i am not built for that i tell you that much okay anyway <laughs> today we're gonna tackle the closet honestly we have conquered the underbed area we've conquered the little shelf area thing so i think it's time that we face the closet guys this is why i need a wide angle lens because you get it you get it anyway welcome to the closet I have just so many random things on these shelves up here hmm honestly i think we should like take everything down and then like take it out so that i can actually see it a little bit better and maybe we will organize it on the bed This is the one thing I have that's a box that actually has the stuff in it and I retaped it. This is my Keurig. I literally won this in a game of bingo and that's still like one of my proudest achievements. Like honestly, I should put that on my resume. These are some of my He's Not cups. You know about UNC, you know about He's Not. Obviously, we're keeping those. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I have to keep these. I don't know how I'm gonna transport them, but I have to. I have the Harry Potter books in French. My brother actually gave these to me. I don't know why he had them, but he didn't want them anymore. This is definitely more of a workout than I anticipated, so I just put on a t-shirt. Look how cute this shirt is. I found it at TJ Maxx, and I'm obsessed, but let's stop dilly-dallying and actually do this thing. We, we can do it. We 
are definitely making progress. You can kind of see I took almost everything off the bed. I've kind of been making one pile that is a giveaway. Then the rest of the stuff is stuff I'm going to keep. Hello. I was just chewing gum and he like wants to know what it is. This is my last little bag that I'm not exactly sure what's in here. I think it's kitchen stuff from my dorm. So I thought we'd just go through it. These I'm definitely going to keep. These are my favorite bowls from Target. <laughs> Okay, please hold. We have to play with the bear really quick. You enjoying your bear? <laughs> he loves it. Okay, anyway. These are my favorite. Like, these are like the iconic Target, like, 99 cent bowls or however, 50 cents, I think they were. And they're my absolute favorite. So, I'm definitely keeping those. And I honestly mostly just have mugs. I have a can opener, keeping that. Some mugs. I'm keeping all these. This one is, like, my favorite. I think that the B came off in the washing machine or like the dishwasher so now it just says deep wreaths in <laughs> but my best friend Sally got this for me and I love it so much and I'll remember to hand wash it from now on I haven't used this one in forever I'm definitely keeping that I think I'm gonna give away this Christmas one this is the apartment building that I used to live in at school, if you ever wondered. Obviously, I didn't say when I was actually there, but I lived in Union, and I loved it so much. This is my utensil set that I had from school. It's obviously several years old, but when I came back home, my dad took out the utensils that he needed the most, so like all the spatulas, I think. So it's not a complete set anymore, and these are just the ones that I would use the least. So I think I'm going to donate these to someone who would use them more than me. I still have two boxes down there that actually have Christmas decorations in them. I think I'm going to put basically the, those entire boxes into the donation pile because I love Christmas. I love all that stuff. And that was really from stuff when I was in my room when we had a house and there was like extra room to keep stuff. And I love decorating for Christmas. But if I'm thinking about potentially like being responsible for moving all this stuff into a new place... <laughs> I don't want to carry Christmas decorations like I'd rather just not have any than have to carry them around if that makes sense but let me show you the box situation honestly I think we did a great job so we just did this bag so this is my mugs and kitchen stuff this is my sheets I have two sheet sets in here I have two blankets in this bag this is my Keurig we have the books in there and then this is my random box of stuff that I didn't really know what to do with. So like I have some stickers, a steamer, a backpack, my beach towel, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't want to give away and either I would keep it and like make it more compact somehow or I would give it to my parents or like my brother or something like that. So got that and then this is just my travel duffel um, and it has my travel backpack inside of it. And this is the giveaway stuff right now, and it's not, like, organized, so some of it is just trash or, like, recycling. So I need to go through this again, but honestly pretty happy with that. I was just going through one last final box because I wasn't going to, like, organize it because I knew I was going to keep everything in it because it's my, like, memory box. I have one that I keep out, like, more in my room to just, like, throw stuff in. And then I have this one where I keep, like, older stuff once a little box gets filled because I love saving little pieces of paper and train tickets and stuff and i was like i'll just go through it to make sure and in there it's making me like emotional to think about this is my acceptance letter from 2021 this just changed my whole life at this time when i got this i was working so so hard to get here to get to where I wanted I was very like 
that was my only goal and I was so focused and I worked so hard. It reminds me a lot. <laughs> oh my god. I did not mean to make this like an emotional video. Um, you're probably like, I literally just wanted to see like organizational stuff. Like what are you doing? <laughs> it reminds me a lot of where I am now, where I'm working really, really hard towards something that I know that I want, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. <sighs> anyway, it just made me really happy and very emotional, <laughs> obviously. That's one other reason I love like going through and like organizing and stuff because obviously you can get rid of things that don't serve you, but you can also remind yourself of all the stuff that really does serve you and makes you happy. And yeah, this is not supposed to be like a life advice. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I just wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of you have supported me throughout that entire journey that I was just talking about and right now, which I love you for so much. But anyway, I think we're good now. 